welcome to JWU. We're certainly thrilled that you joined us today. Um, my name is Professor Elizabeth Canada. I'm actually the chair of the uh, accounting and finance department here at the university. Uh, just a quick my background, I'm a certified public accountant and I spent 20 plus years in the auditing profession. I am joined by star faculty member, uh, Professor Jean Holt. Jean? Um, so I teach in the finance program and uh, my background is in wealth management. I have a securities license. So welcome and thanks for joining us today. Yes, it's a pleasure to have you here. So our program, and I do understand that we have some um, students and families that you know haven't quite decided um, what they want to do. So I'll tell you that you're um, in a good seat and um, you'll understand why I say that in just a moment. So our program <clears throat> is primarily focused in Providence Down City. And our presentation today, just to give you a quick overview of what we're going to cover, um, first we're going to talk a little bit about the career outlook, which everybody wants to know, you know, what are the careers and are we going to be able to get jobs. Our faculty, which is pretty amazing, so we'll highlight some of the uh, credentials there. Our curriculum, very important, what you come to school for, what, what we're going to learn. Um, experiential education, which is something that differentiates, I think, Johnson & Wales because we have a multitude of opportunities in experiential education. Um, then we'll talk about careers, where we've placed some of our alumni at some very successful companies, which is quite impressive. And then graduate school opportunities, which I know you think it might be a little early to think grad school, but planning is key, let me tell you. So, and then of course at the end, we'll have plenty of time to answer your questions. We actually have some of our star students from the accounting and finance discipline, as well as um, admissions reps, so they can also help us to answer your questions at the end of the presentation, okay? So first, I want to commend you if you've decided on accounting or finance, or if you haven't, maybe we'll sway you today, um, but the job outlook is tremendous in these two fields. So this is just a quick um, snapshot of information from the Bureau of Labor Statistics on what the career outlook is. So um, we, of course, just selected two. You could certainly go to the Bureau of Labor Statistics and research yourself if you have a particular um, you know, interest in these professions. But accountants and auditors, um, and what I want to highlight, certainly a very fair um, salary, but is the job growth. So the job growth is about 11% right now, which is faster than average um, job growth. And if you look at the last line, it highlights how many jobs will be available um, into the future or the year 2024. So if we fast forward, you know, upon your graduation, you'll be entering the job market at a, at a rising time, which is, of course, awesome, and I'm sure all the families uh, like to hear that. The next, we just clipped financial analysts. Again, one of many um, careers that you can take with a finance degree. Uh, you'll notice the salary uh, is fairly incredible, and also 12% uh, growth, so faster than average. So even though it's a smaller industry, you see the number of 32,300 jobs, which is still a big number, um, it's growing very, very fast. So uh, congratulations for perhaps choosing a career in these disciplines. I think you're in a, in a really good place. So this is our incredible faculty. I happen to chair the department. Um, pretty amazing, really, really cared. If I could give you one um, word that I think summarizes the faculty in the department that I chair is passionate. They're passionate about what they do, and they're passionate about their students. Um, so that would be my one, my one word to sum up this, uh, this photo is passion. So we have 13 full-time faculty members in the department, um, some crossover disciplines between um, accounting and finance, and we have far, five part-time <coughs> industry professionals that we rely on fairly regularly to teach very specific courses, uh, very high-level courses. Uh, for instance of that, just to share one example, is we have the uh, president of internal audit at a very large bank um, teaching internal auditing for us because he has the experience in that industry um, and really keeps it real in the classroom. And that's what we like to do here. We like to keep it real. So all of our faculty um, hold professional credentials in their area of expertise. So we have obviously CPAs, certified public accountants, um, on our faculty. We have CFEs, Certified Fraud Examiners, which is kind of a hot 
topic in the accounting and finance is forensic and fraud examination. Unfortunately, we have a lot of corporate crime in the world today, um, so that's a designation that is fairly popular now. Certified government financial managers, and we also have faculty that hold their securities trading licenses. So the moral of that story is highly qualified faculty um, will stand in front of you. People that have actually worked in the industry. So, and I do think that that's a differentiator for Johnson & Wales, um, where our faculty have actually worked in the industry in which they're teaching you. Uh, so real world experience, and we keep those classrooms um, really as real, uh, as real as possible. We are all active members, and I'd like to highlight active members, of professional associations. So this gives us a great opportunity to network with professionals that are still working in that industry um, and, and bring our students to different networking events, uh, land internships, which we'll talk about in a little bit for our students. So that's very important. We do all uh, participate in continuing professional education to keep current. This is an ever-changing business in general is ever changing, right? I think of the technology, and I'm probably aging myself right now, but the technology that I used when I was in college or when I even started in the workforce to today, um, very, very, very different. So we, we do uh, continuing professional education so that we can keep current on all of those changes. And then lastly, and I think important, is we serve as academic advisors um, to our students. So every student that comes to JWU would have a student academic services advisor, but also an academic advisor in their discipline. We meet with you, we talk to you, we'll ask you, it's Cam, correct? Did I remember your name? But Cam, we would sit with you, meet with you, ask you what you're interested in doing. Let's figure out the best plan to get Cam where he wants to be. Um, and I think that that's very, very important. We have an open door policy, with our faculty. So that academic advising is, is very critical.